So we'll begin with this uh, and we'll cover only the key workloads, machine learning topics in this. If you see, I have uh, prepared pretty detailed things on this. So uh, let's see. So, so what is artificial intelligence where the human, uh, where a software tries to become a human, right? Or they show human like capabilities. Like if you ask plan our trip for Manali, then the answer that you will get is uh, from somebody who is like a person, right? So the output that you get from chat GPT and all. So that where a computer tries to behave like a human or show capabilities like human. So that is uh, called as artificial intelligence. So in the starting, what they have uh, done is they have covered the uh, key workloads, right? So key workloads is like uh, what, what all the various applications of AI that is there, right? They are using machine learning, knowledge mining. So I will cover these topics because these are in detail. So when I cover the detail of each one, I will cover uh, that particular. So in this video, since we are uh, starting with machine learning, I'll cover only the machine learning portion. Right, so machine learning comprises of two things. First is computer and other is mathematics. I would say first is mathematics, then computer. So you try to make some logic, right? That uh, like if you pass X, how you will receive Y. So when I say X, Y, I can take an example of an ice cream seller, which is there in the course. Let's say if the temperature in Delhi is 25 degrees, then let's say 10 ice creams are sold. If it is 26, then I can say maybe 19, right? Or if it is going 35, then let's say 40 ice creams are sold, right? So uh, it's like you have to predict if this is the temperature, then how many ice creams would be sold, right? So for that, you have to design an algorithm, right? And that we, uh, these algorithm, we decide using mathematics, right? And then once that algorithm is decided using computer, we implement it. So at a very high level, you can understand that this is what machine learning is, where firstly you involve the mathematics part, right? Once the mathematic part is done using computer, you just implement that part. So if mathematics is not there, only computer will uh, not be able to do anything. So that is about uh, uh, machine learning at a very high level, right? So we'll cover rest of this as we cover uh, more topics, right? So let's go here. What is ML, machine learning, okay? So it's a function. Uh, as I, I as I told you, I gave you that uh, example, right? Where I told you that ice cream person wants to predict how many ice cream would be sold as per the temperature, right? So defining that function is called as process of defining that function is like training that model, right? So let's say here we have temperature and here we have number of ice cream. So to come from temperature to ice cream, designing this function, right? Where we pass the X and we get the Y. So X is what? The temperature and Y is what? The number of ice cream, right? So we train our model where we pass this temperature and we predict that, okay, we create a generic function by which you will be able to predict, let's say if the temperature is 40, then if 60 ice creams are sold or not, right? So you even have seen some questions, right? Where they give a series one, two, four, eight, then they ask you what will come, right? So there you use human intelligence, right? You And generally the answer is the next one, which is uh, very, very easy to predict, right? But here, the sequence would not be that much easy, like because you are telling temperature and and it's not that uh, if 25 is the temperature, then 50 ice creams are sold. If 50 is the temperature, then let's say 100 are sold. So these are easy to solve, right? Where you see the direct things, correct? But in machine learning, we are trying to solve hard problems. Okay, so I have given the example here. Uh, the same one that okay the ice cream vendor example which they have taken where they have considered various factors so temperature rainfall what is the wind speed right so that was a simple example if we pass these three then y will come okay and uh, so yeah we are trying to uh, based on this x1 x2 and x3 we try to predict y and in between machine learning plays a role okay so this is the same uh, function that is written. So machine learning with the mathematics try to create 
this function on paper and then computer implements this function and it becomes machine learning right so now what is training data so on we make observation on the past things right so you have this ice cream data for past 15 days so using this data you know what was these conditions and you know the number of ice creams right so selecting that what all factors will affect a particular thing is called as feature engineering or there is a word called as feature selection like what are the features uh, which are responsible by which we generate the output so all these are also uh, called as features right and the output you create is called as labels so these are the jargons uh, here so feature means uh, the things which will uh, on which you are operating which is the input and labels are the output right because there can be more than one output as well okay so based on the existing data we try to make this is one type of where we know the existing data okay so that's what it is now how it works so first of all there is data that is coming right that ice cream data it could be coming from humans or it could be coming from sensors right so uh, recently we brought a scooty right a two wheeler where on the screen it shows that you need to go to service okay so there are some sensors which are in which are fitted in that scooty right so if it crosses x kilometer let's say it crosses more than 1000 kilometer then that's a linking starts to uh, that that light starts to blink right so th that kind of data comes from sensors and sometimes it's human feed right that humans are giving that uh, data okay now uh, how to now comes the how part that we told that okay it is using data but we use data to train the models okay and there are two kinds of output it can give. One is prediction, one is inference. So the difference is prediction is when you make something for the future. Okay, what can happen like this, right? So which is, so if you see the English difference, you will see that prediction is mostly for the future. Inferences is like you have the data, right? And you are, uh, you have the input and both the output and you are uh, using that and making the inference out of it, right? So yeah, there is a question also that comes sometimes, right? So which I saw in one of the dumps that I saw or online practice paper, I can call it. So first thing, so there are three things in machine learning, right? Firstly, you get, you select the data, which you select by something called as feature engineering, right? You select the features, you train the model, right? So training the model is improving that FX function, the function that I told you so that it can predict more accurately. Right. It's not that the answers would be 100% accurate, right? We try to bring it accurate, like right? adding more things to it, improving your formula, right? So you train the model and then you evaluate the model that whether it is producing the right output or not, right? So you get select the data, you train the model and then you uh, evaluate the model, right? Now, as I told you that it's a combination of mathematics and a computer so mathematics is done by the data scientist right generally and the implementation would be done by the software engineer so they know that these are the parameters this is the formula to be applied right so they do this part and data scientist do this part right which is harder compared to this part right but yeah it depends that who is doing what right but yeah this is how it works mm -hmm. So now to explain you this, I will go to the Microsoft documentation. So here they have explained the same thing, right? So you can consider this that ice cream factors which are affecting ice cream, right? And this is number of ice cream, right? So you try to create a model by which we will feed these parameters and it will give you an output right so that when we feed any of this random parameter with some any of the values we will be able to know that how many ice creams would be sold right so that way it would be easy for the person who is selling ice cream or there could be a big shop that say selling so they can place orders according to that predicting that okay they don't have too much stuff right suppose they order 2000 ice creams right and only 1000 got sold right 
so but yeah these are the factors which will affect right and the models have to keep on improving because let's say there was something happened on that day right and that has adversely affected it right let's say that prime minister suddenly visited right so that was not considered in this factor right so that can affect things so model keep on improving based on the data that uh, that we keep on feeding it so machine learning is of two types that's explained in this course one is called as supervised and one is called as unsupervised so the simple difference between this is here you know the input and the output so basically you have some past observations right but in unsupervised you, you don't have the result okay so the example is that you go to a forest and you found that there are various plants right uh, various flowers and plants are there and you want to know that okay what are their categories so if if there is nothing predefined right you will find the word this predefined if there is nothing predefined output then it's clustering or unsupervised right but where you have some predictions right you know already the output you have to tell that which one is what okay then it is supervised learning in supervised there are two kind of algorithm one is called as regression in regression what will happen is the output will always be a number okay so if there is any question where um, they ask about predict the sales right which would be a number or something which is a number right where you want to predict that how many people will come to the stadium to see the match so then we use the regression algorithm okay which is a supervised algorithm now classification comes is that when you have to when you have binary information right so for example whether the person will have diabetes or they will not have diabetes okay so you have to take an answer between yes and no okay and sometimes you might have to uh, classify also then the answer would not be for example there is a movie okay it could be a science movie it could be a fiction movie or it could be a science fiction okay the both can be there but science and fiction words you are already aware about right so if you have a predefined category and you are classifying then it is called as multi class classification basically it will fall under classification but if you don't know the output right so there is an example also of brain hemorrhage that i saw a question about so there what happens is things are predefined that there are x categories of brain hemorrhage so in that case regression is not qualified because you are not predicting the number that okay you have to predict that uh, the various classes and you already know it so it will come under classification okay but if you don't know the output then it goes under uh, clustering so these are the three types that are part of ai 900 okay let's see my notes so again i have explained the same thing supervises of two type regression and classification here it's always a number like ice cream pre sales right and if you draw it on a graph it would be a straight line i'll show you this how uh, this is a straight line so here generally we predict like let's say if that here we say that this was the temperature and this is number of ice cream so you predict uh, on the graph that okay if the temperature is increasing so you put the actual data then you draw a line and then you try to make a line in such a way that it can make the accurate prediction but there would be some difference right you will not be have a straight line correct so the graph comes like this so i have just made this note so that that can help me later so if you go through when you read the actual documentation you can uh, make things out of it let me show you as well so this is how that regression algorithm works right so firstly they draw that how many ice creams were sold if the temperature is like this right let's say the temperature is uh, 68 then these ice creams were sold right on various days these are the various ice creams that were sold so they try to do a straight line right a data scientist could explain it better but they yeah they have explained at a very high level and then they draw this line and see that what is the difference from that straight line so if you see that Uh, there is a difference of two, three, one. So this is called as uh, regression. Okay, it comes under supervised, right? Another one is classification, which comes under supervised, where we try to make 
no, yes, or multi class classification. But here we generally know the output, so we can draw this, right? So the second one comes that whether the person will play the loan or not pay the loan, right? So true, false, positive, negative, that brain hemorrhage example I could I gave you. Even uh, this classification also, because the movie can be both uh, science and fiction, right? So if you know the predefined category, then uh, it is a classification, right? Because here you are not predicting number. Okay, number is here in regression. Here, either it is true, false, but if you are doing a predefined category, then also it's uh, classification. Okay, then come clustering, right? Some questions would come from this where you don't know the output, right? As I told earlier, there are two things. One is feature, one is label. Label is nothing but your output and feature is your input. So if you don't know output, you are predicting things, then it is a perfect example of clustering, okay? And you don't know even the output, right? Here you know that movie could be science fiction or some category. But when you are categorizing a plants, maybe you don't know that what all uh, plants are those or flowers are those. So you just know, okay, they have some features like they have leaves, okay? And they might not have leaves. What is the size of that? But you don't know that what would be the output when you are finding that. So here the examples are given that you are trying to organize documents based on similar text. Okay, they have similar text, but what kind of text you don't know. So that is an example of clustering. Okay, similar patients. So there are patients who are having similar kind of symptoms and results, right? Or similar purchasing habit. So all these are example of unsupervised and uh, clustering. Okay, so three things we learned, regression, classification and clustering.